CNCF and 5 things you need to know about it. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines! Just like the world of car racing has ever-changing requirements and requires innovative solutions, so does software design and app development. The need to be the fastest is something common amongst the two, so Cloud Native Computing Foundation, or CNCF, could be the tune-up your open-source project needs to cross the white line. Welcome to Kofi Group. We're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers. On a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. Our videos cover hiring tips and strategies for startups, software engineering, data science, interview preparation, salary negotiation, remote work, recruitment tips, and much more. Subscribe now for the latest software engineering and machine learning insights, invaluable hiring tips, and the best career building advice on YouTube. Also, make sure you stick around to the end for some bonus industry info. The race car analogy is perfect to describe CNCF in layman's terms. In the racing scene, a sponsor may come to your team and want you to build the fastest car on the track. You say, no problem, and proceed to put together a top fuel dragster that can blitz the 1,000 foot in under four seconds, pumping out 340 miles per hour in the first three seconds alone. If we think of the sponsor as the clients, the car as the containerized application, and the drag race as major scaling capability, now we have a comparison. It's all about raw power and speed. But say the sponsor isn't happy with the fastest car you can muster. They want it to be fast, not just in a straight line, but around a racetrack. You now need to build a completely different beast. The engine has to be smaller, more fuel efficient, and more reliable to deal with much longer races than just a tad more than four seconds. You have to redesign the entire body with the suspension, steering, aerodynamics, and shape needed to now deal with cornering. Then there is the computer telemetry system that have sensors attached to everything, monitoring the condition of the tires, brakes, engine, transmission, fluid levels, in order to send that information back to the race team. It's an entirely different car. In software terms, shifting from raw unbridled power to being set up to handle other functions and workloads comes from adding functionality. But just like changing from a dragster to a track car, it's impossible to change one into the other. You have to go back to the drawing board and start from the design and blueprint phase. The sponsor comes back a third time and wants the car to specifically tackle a hill climb race. Not only that, they want to make the switch to electric power, something outside your expertise as a motor mechanic. Software design is no different in the sense that there are spanners thrown in the works, pun intended, in the form of unplanned changes to the core fundamentals of the build that could even incorporate a new technology that you're just not familiar with yet. If this sounds super disruptive to the development process, that's because it is. Each time a major change is made to the design brief, it's almost like you have to stop and start over again. But by using CNCF architecture in the form of dynamically assembled microservices, you don't have to. Going back to the analogy, it's like turning your dragster into that Formula One car that can also get up the top of that hill first with its spare electric motor on board. Sorcery? Witchcraft? No, it's just common sense. Number 1. What is CNCF? What the Cloud Native Computing Foundation landscape is can be a little tricky to get your head around. Basically, it's a collection of open source projects supported by ongoing contributions, courtesy of a huge vibrant community of programmers. The CNCF itself is a bit like a map showing you the full extent of all the solutions under its umbrella in the form of open source projects like Kubernetes, Prometheus, Envoy, and over 50 others. CNCF is a Linux Foundation project tasked with advancing container technology, the ability to package an application so it can be run with its dependencies while being isolated from other processes. Pretty much, packaged computing power done so for ease of use and to improve quality of life. Number 2. How CNCF Works So keeping in mind that CNCF is container technology, it helps to understand how it works before we look at what it's used for. If we think of the landscape as a cargo ship, it makes sense to transport all items together in the same shipping container. It would be horribly inefficient if you had to randomly stack the cargo in the hold. You'd be losing a lot of cubic feet of space. 
Instead, the steel shipping containers offer a way to organize all the cargo into groups, stack it using all the available space for the journey, and have an easy way for the crane to unload it once it reaches the overseas dock. By standardizing the way cargo is transported as units, containers, and keeping them together in the same shipping container that can be moved as a single unit, costs are kept way down. Plus, it's just an easier and more logical way of doing it. It can be the same with computers. Migrating perfectly working software from the developer's machine and onto the test machine can end up with the software performing like a horrible janky mess. The software has been designed for a specific environment, and the difference in operating system, libraries, storage, security, and even network connectivity can throw up all sorts of bugs. Going back to the shipping container analogy, imagine if the software housed in that container could be moved grouped with all its dependencies. The libraries, configuration files, and anything else it needs to operate properly. This would eliminate things like operating systems differing and causing problems, hardware compatibility issues, conflicting drivers, that sort of thing. Not only that, the software container would also handle how the software is deployed in the new machine. Are you thinking about exploring new software engineering opportunities? Kofi Group is working with VC-backed SaaS, AI, developer tooling, and social impact startups around the country. All of the startups we work with utilize modern technologies, value work-life balance, and are hiring engineers on a 100% remote, on-site, and hybrid basis. We handle all salary negotiations and regularly see compensation packages ranging from $150,000 to $200,000 a year, plus equity for senior engineers. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, contact us at kofi-group.com today. Number 3. Why CNCF is important So, CNCF is set up in this multiple container structure with each open source project having a container master to which all others interact with as nodes. The cluster master schedules the workloads for each node, as well as how long they're active, whether they need to be upgraded, and the like. This system is especially useful for microservices server architecture, as they enable a program to be broken up into smaller pieces, a sum of its many individually operating processes. By having a collaborative effort updating the various container master technologies and housing them all under one roof in CNCF, developers have a huge selection on what they actually want in their containers and in which configurations. Number 4. What technologies are included? Currently, there are a total of 15 graduated open source projects that have been with the CNCF platform for a long time can be considered trusted and are used by at least three companies. There are 21 in the incubation phase as early adopters of the platform and visionary technologies, and 55 projects in the sandbox phase. Yet, to prove their code maturity, community involvement, and sustainability as collaborators to the CNCF Collective. Kubernetes is perhaps the most well-known CNCF graduate proving its worth by automating the deployment, scaling, and management of container technology-based applications. It adds a layer of abstraction, grouping containers into pods for use in modular microservices systems, and to help software engineers schedule workloads. Prometheus is another graduate-level project and the second to join CNCF in the early days after Kubernetes. It can be used as a monitoring solution for both dynamic cloud environments as well as container technology by operating as a pull-based system, deciding when and what to scrape. Envoy is still in the incubation stage, but is already proving its worth as a modern service proxy for use in cloud-native applications. As it's coded in C++, it's both high-performance and lightweight, able to easily communicate with any vendor. It also provides a fault-tolerance function for microservices architecture without changing any lines of existing code. There are many, many other projects that cover everything from orchestrations to app development, monitoring, logging, tracing, container registering, storage, databases, runtime environments, service discovery, service meshing, proxies, security, and all the way up to streaming and messaging apps. Whatever your need, there is likely an open source project on CNCF ready and waiting to help you out. 
Have you considered using CNCF? We'd love to hear from you. Type CNCF in the comments below and share your feedback with us. Also, keep watching to the end for some bonus content where we divulge some awesome online resources to get you off and running on your CNCF journey. Number 5. How is software design impacted? Containers within CNCF are able to run all sorts of software, with the configurations and requirements controlled by the master node. The downside is that older software designed for running on virtual machines may not function well when switched over to container technology. Managing software running as containers is actually pretty easy for developers, with Kubernetes being the pick of the bunch thanks to its Red Hat OpenShift distribution, which actually ties in really well with the rapid deployment strategy you experience when using a DevOps philosophy in your development and operation cycle. A virtual machine takes a while to boot up, any computer does. With container technology like CNCF, the operating system is already up and running on the server, meaning a container of software can be initialized in just a few seconds. Better yet, containers as a server can be started and stopped to suit demand, able to be ramped up to cope with peak user inquiries or ramped down when the traffic subsides. In the event that a container crashes, it can just be restarted and back to doing its thing in mere moments. Security isn't a risk as each container is using the same operating system. Should there be a security flaw in the host kernel, then yes, it may affect multiple containers connected as nodes. But monitoring software like Docker creates a requirement in the form of signature infrastructure to prevent containers coming live when they're not authorized to do so. Likewise, TwistLock is a security software that closely profiles the behaviors of containers and instantly shuts down any container suspected of performing suspicious activity outside the parameters of the system profile. The cloud-native ecosystem is one that is growing at an exponential rate. More and more sandbox-level projects are being adopted, improving their visibility to the greater programming community and offering others a chance to make improvements based on their newfound application for the code. Likewise, as projects are adopted by companies, their status is elevated to a more trusted level. Learning how to use the technologies contained within the CNCF to your advantage is definitely something to learn for the future, as container technology is here to stay and will soon be the standard in how software is developed and deployed. Congratulations, you made it to our bonus content. Thanks for staying tuned in. As a special reward, we're going to share some of our best CNCF resources so you can learn more about this exciting technology. These are probably the five best online resources relevant to CNCF and container technology in general. Whether you're a relative novice or someone who has been around the block a few times, it doesn't matter. You'll benefit greatly from learning about CNCF. Head on down to the description for links to the courses. Number 1. Kubernetes Certification CNCF have a brilliant collection of courses on how to use Kubernetes and is well worth a look. Number 2. CNCF Online Programs Likewise, CNCF run programs presented by companies who use CNCF, like Twitter, Upbound, and DeployHub, that run through ways to use the various open source projects. Number 3. Introduction to Cloud Infrastructure Technologies Linux runs an exhaustive free course with over 50 hours of material that goes through the ins and outs and cloud infrastructure and container technologies. Number 4. Introduction to Cloud Foundry and Cloud Native Software Architecture Another one by Linux, except this time in the form of a 24-hour total audio course, explaining how to build runtime frameworks with build packs. Number 5. Monitoring Systems and Services with Prometheus To round out the list and complete a trio of Linux courses, why not check out how Prometheus can help with monitoring and basic querying? We hope you enjoyed CNCF and 5 things you need to know about it in 2021. If you learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments if there's any recruitment, technology, or startup specific content you want us to cover next. Interested in learning more about microservices? Check out our video called Microservices vs. Monolithic Architecture to be the first to see other amazing recruitment, employment, and startup strategy videos. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on.
At Kofi Group, we're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. We help startups outcompete Fang. Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and Big Tech in the highly competitive war for talent. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers in startups, contact Kofi Group today.